What's up guys? Today we are going to install a MegaWare keel guard on a bass boat here. So quickly, kind of what you get when you order it. This is a seven foot uh, version. I've got a 21 foot Phoenix here. That's what it's gonna be going on. Uh, a few things you're gonna need is just some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol for some cleaning, some paper towels for that, um, some painter's tape, and a crayon is going to help mark some things out. And then as far as what comes in the box, got your instructions obviously, but you got a piece of scotch bright. So you have a priming compound that you put on after you clean it with the alcohol, a glove for that, and a little applicator tool. So it seems to be pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do when I got it is I put it out in the sun here. It's about 80 something degrees today. So letting it get nice and flat so it's easier to work with because it is rubber and it comes in this box rolled up. So I didn't want to have to fight its shape or anything like that. So basically we're going to get started and uh, marking things out. I'm going to set it on there, kind of get a rough gauge of where it needs to go. And then I will make some marks with a crayon, probably tape around it. And then I'll use a scotch bright pad to basically rough up that area so then we can clean it, put the priming compound on there and then get it started on the application of it. It's recommended to go like four to six inches above uh, your, like your resting water line on your boat so mm -hmm. water can't get into that leading edge. So on my boat, I've got these wings here, kind of what they call them. So I'm thinking around this area is like the resting water line, I believe. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and get it like either at the bottom of this wing or maybe up in it just a little bit. I'm gonna play with it, see kind of what it looks like, where exactly I want it and then see how far down it actually goes when I do that. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. All right, I've got it taped uh, relatively close to where it's gonna be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make some marks just kind of down the edges, some reference points, so I can use a little masking tape or uh, it kind of gives me a guideline of where I need to use that scotch bright. All right, now I've made some marks so I have an idea of where everything's gonna be. And I'm gonna use uh, some painter's tape here, kind of follow that down the edge, just to give it a little bit of a more straight line, more of a clean look, I guess, on the uh, on the scotch bride, just to make sure I don't don't go outside of really where uh, this keel guard's gonna end up. Okay, I got everything masked off all the way down to where it's gonna go. You can see my butt's already relatively scratched up on the keel and uh, it's whatever, you know, it's boat's gonna get used. I'm not super concerned about way down there having it totally perfect, like if it's roughed up a little bit because it's already gonna be that same color, but up in this area, I don't wanna have a large gap of, of like sanded gel coat up here and make it look not as shiny and new. So really try to take my time up here and make sure this is perfect. Uh, down there, I think it's pretty dang close, but if it's off by an eighth of an inch or so, a quarter inch, and it could be in the world because it's already looking that way down there. So uh, now I'm going to get my scotch bright pad, and we're going to get this just roughed up, really. You want to get this just to be a nice surface that your uh, adhesive can adhere to. You don't want to have wax, anything like that on there, so that's where your isopropyl 
alcohol is going to come in, help just get this clean, get any residue or anything like that off of there. And then that scotch Brite is going to give it a little bit of uh, roughness to it to adhere to. All right, we have everything etched nicely, so now we are going to take some isopropyl rubbing alcohol, some paper towels, and we are going to clean the heck out of this. We're gonna clean, 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 get as clean as possible, no residue or anything coming off there, just try and get back a nice, clean paper towel, and uh, then we will go ahead and put the primer on, and then it'll be time to actually stick the keel guard on. All right, we have it cleaned very, very well with the isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Now we're going to put on our primer wipe. So it says just a thin layer. This is gonna dry really, really quickly, it says. Then it's gonna be time to actually install the keel guard. So I'm really gonna focus on getting this all over and especially on the edges. Basically this sets up with the adhesive over time and it gets stronger. So it's really important to get the edges to make sure nothing wants to peel out on you. Okay, now that it is primed, we're going to actually install the fuel guard. So what's nice about this one is there is a center line that's scored already right down the middle, if I can get it started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this back just in the center like this, and we're gonna start lining this up with the boat. We're gonna start pushing that down as we go, and we'll get the whole center on. So then that's gonna hold it in place for us. And then we'll go back and we'll start on each side and we'll start laying that out. So that's what's nice. You don't have to fight it, you know, you'd be able to get it nice and straight like this. All right, I don't know if my camera died or not. But what we're gonna do is we're going to start at the bow here. We're gonna peel one side of the adhesive off, work from the center out and down towards the edge of the boat. So I got one side done already, and then I'm working on this side about halfway down. Uh, use this tool that they gave you right here. I've been pushing in all these crevices I have, trying to make sure everything has good adhesion, and then working my way out, and then really pushing along the edges after I get the whole thing seated on there to make sure everything is bonded nice and tight. Okay, so that's it. I think it turned out pretty good. It looks pretty sharp. Going all the way down. It's pretty far down in there. Take a look at this side too. Goes down, gives me plenty of protection. Hopefully that helped you uh, do your installation. I'd say the hardest part of all that was probably getting it to stay on there with the tape. That was that was the biggest pain in the butt. If you want to just measure five inches across, that's the width of it that might be the way to do it. That might be a little easier, but I figured if I can tape it on there and get it where I want it, then I know for sure I'm not gonna mess up where I'm gonna etch it out. But other than that, it's not too bad. Just follow the steps, etch it really well, do it really thoroughly, and then clean the heck out of it with the uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I cleaned it until I got no like black residue back on the paper towel. It came back just looking like alcohol on there. So I did that really, really well, and then uh, put the primer on the pre-application. Now one thing with the primer, do not let that thing unfold. If you watch me put it on, I started with it folded up and then I unfolded it some more and started to put it on, but it dries out really, really quickly uh, when you start to unfold it. So thankfully I did not unfold it until I was almost to the end, but if you unfold it right away, uh, I think you might run out of primer by the time you get to the end. So keep the thing folded up. If it starts to run low, just unfold it one time, fold it back on itself or whatever and keep going. So that's one good thing to note. And then as far as the actual installation, 
Uh, they make it really easy with that center strip. It was a breeze, just a little bit of time, get it lined up, then you have nothing to worry about. So don't be intimidated by it. It wasn't really hard. Just take a little bit of planning to make sure everything went you know, the way you want it to. So good luck with the installation, and it looks like a good gill guard. I think it's going to really help protect the front of my boat a little bit when I'm beaching in on ramps and stuff like that. Uh, things I wasn't really able to do before. Before I was limited to like putting on a pea gravel bank, but now I could, I could put it on a, a concrete boat ramp if I want. So thanks for watching, guys.